Hi! Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to your glorious, last glor- glorious Lord's Day, Sunday of March, March 26, 2023. Episode 10, 25, part 1, or 2, excuse me. And in this one, we're going to be learning about the telling room. From Marvin Williams, derived from 1 Samuel 18, 1 through 4. So, if you're excited about this one, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like somewhere during the video. Remember the like challenge. Go back to the, the morning episode, the morning video for explanation. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Don't forget the um, birthdays, anniversaries, and prayer requests in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications. Share the video and channel with your family and friends. Help me reach at least 50 subscribers or more, which that is 11 or more subscribers to go by my birthday, April the 18th, which is 24 days away. So, And if you do that for me, I would greatly appreciate you more than you'll ever imagine. And hopefully we can reach the 100 mark by the end of May for my three-year anniversary on YouTube. So, But without further ado, let's learn about the telling room. We're getting right down to it. Hang on a minute. Let me fix my... Fix something. Sorry about that real quick flash. But, but the telling room. Marvin Williams, he writes, Northern, Sp- Northern Spain produced a beautiful way of expressing communion and friendship. With the countryside full of hand, handmade caves, after each harvest, some farmers would sit in a room built above a cave and inventory their various foods. As the time passed, the room became known as the telling room, a place of communion where friends and families would gather to share their stories, secrets, and dreams. If you needed the intimate company of safe friends, you would head for the telling room. Had they lived in northern Spain, the deep friendship shared by Jonathan and David might have led them to create a telling room. And when King Saul became so jealous that he wanted to kill David, Jonathan, Saul's oldest son, protected and befriended him. The two became one in spirit, 1 Samuel 18, 1. And Jonathan loved him as himself, verses 1 and 3, which says Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself, verse 3. And though he was was heir apparent to the throne, he recognized David's divine selection to be king. He gave David his robe, sword, bow, and belt, verse 4, later. And later, David declared that Jonathan's deep love for him as a friend was wonderful. 2 Samuel 1, verse 26. So as believers in Jesus, he may help us build our own relational relational telling rooms, friendships that reflect Christ-like love and care. So let's take the time to linger with friends, open our hearts, and live in true communion with one another in him. Ooh, can't believe I've read through that that fast. Wow. I didn't realize I was reading it that fast. <laughs> but so a telling room. Hmm. Places where people can discuss things. That's that that's a that's a new one on me. I've never heard of that before, but if you have, let me know in the comments. So what kind of commitments have you made to your friends? Or have they made to you? You could turn the tables. And how can you express your love to them this week? Let me know in the comments by putting Q1 or Q2. But ponder those questions by saying, Dear God, help me. Please help me to pursue vulnerable, loving and authentic friendships. Dear God, please help me to pursue vulnerable, loving, and authentic friendships. Short and sweet. That's all I can say. 
<laughs> but for further study, read A Torrent of Justice, Building Relationships of Love and Kindness at discoverodb.org. They must have changed their website. Used to be called uh, odb.org. And then they had discoveryseries.org. They must have combined the two websites. Because <laughs> some of them already had those, those listed like that, so they just used them. And now they've got the new... These got... These are later additions to the book, and they changed the website up. So instead of discoveryseries.org and odb.org, now it's discoverodb.org. So that uh, website should be listed in the, in the description below. That link should be in the description below. So, But your Bible reading for this one today is Joshua chapters 22, 23, and 24, and in Luke chapter 3. Mm. So, coming up tomorrow in part 2 of episode 1026, for your final, your last um, fantastic Monday of the month, we're going to be learning about God is Listening. From Allison Kedia Kaeda, however it's pronounced, derived from James 5, 13 through 16. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that later tonight, but you'll see that one tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have the, if the book is there today at church, I've grabbed, um, grabbed uh, I would have grabbed the book, brought it home, so I can finish up the week where I can do my videos early enough. Because I've already got the book for April, so I ain't got to worry about that for April. But I have to worry about the rest of the March, try to, to get get it set up like I want it. So hopefully the book is still there and I can get it and bring it home and finish the week up in good standards. I don't have to wait till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning for the, for the devotion. So... But stay tuned. I'll get to that later tonight, but you'll see that tomorrow. So, But with that said, I love you. appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God, and he'll keep you safe. And all you're saying, doing 2023 and beyond. And until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. <whistles> so long, farewell. Come back, come back later for your fourth and final part of the Turning Point Weekend Series Spring Forward. And we'll be talking about learning how to be a prayer warrior. Ephesians 6.18 from the NLT version is your beginning passage, but we'll be reading the New King James Version in the recommended reading, Ephesians 6.10-20. Our turning point is from Stormy O'Martian, O'Meriton, however it's pronounced, O-M-A-R-T-I-A-N. And in the Bible reading for the weekend is 1 Samuel 13 through 16. So hope you read 13 and 14 last night because I, I told you, the, told you at, the, at the end of the live stream. Hope you read 13 and 14 last night and then read 15 and 16 today before this one, before this one goes live tonight. So if you haven't, go ahead and read all four chapters. You can you, you can knock them out in probably 30 minutes. You can knock out those four chapters. If you stay on it, you can get it done. So but stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after seven. So with that said. God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you later. <laughs> so until then, me and Baby Yoda, we out until later. So have a great rest of your afternoon. And we'll see you tonight after 7. For Spring Forward, be 
a prayer warrior. Part four of the weekend series. So come back and find out what that last final part is going to be. So until then, until then, I'll see you later. Goodbye.